welcome back to the Cool Fear Channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magic Girl, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for doll collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Jada Toys 132 inch scale Batmobile from the Batman. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them if that's your sort of thing why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon while you're at it that way you stay notified when i do upload new content and if you do enjoy this video or any other videos that i put out please remember to give them a thumbs up it is free and easy for you to do and it really helps the channel grow with all that out of the way guys once again we are going to be taking a look at the jada toys 132 inch scale batmobile from the new The Batman movie. I am so excited for this movie. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know anytime I get a chance to talk about anything associated to this movie, I get super, super excited. And we are so close to finally seeing this movie, guys. We were supposed to get it last year, but thankfully, it is finally almost time to see it. Uh, so this is going to be somewhat of a quick review because there's not too much to it. Um, but I did want to start doing this and I thought this would be a great one to start with. And by start doing this, I mean like start doing reviews for the Jada Toys Batmobiles because I actually have all of the Jada Toys Batmobiles in the 118th scale uh, that I just haven't done reviews for. And now that I have this one and I'm doing a review for it and uh, I'm hoping that they're going to bring this one to the 118th scale, I will want to do a review on that one once it's available. Uh, I figured why not go ahead and do the previous Batmobiles, especially with the way that collecting is going this year it seems like you're gonna have to be really picky and choosy unless you're you know jeff bezos with unlimited amounts of money and uh can get whatever the fuck you want you know i'm gonna have to be really choosy not only just because of you know money wise but also space and also quality guys it seems like prices are going up but quality is actually unfortunately going down not even staying the same but going down uh so you know i'm gonna have to be really picky and choosy on what figures i get uh maybe wait for a few of them to hit clearance so in the meantime time i want to do some reviews for some figures and collectibles that i have that i haven't done reviews for in the past and i think the jada batmobile toys will be the first ones up so with that being said why don't we go ahead and take a look at everything that comes with this set so you see here you get a batmobile and a miniature die cast batman yes this guy is metal if you can't hear that like you can drop him any which way and he is metal guys uh so yeah super cool and by the way Jada Toys is actually only a city or two away from me. In fact, I went to community college, uh, the city over from Jada Toys, so that's pretty cool. And I'm actually trying to get Jada Toys on Coffee and Toys Live. What is Coffee and Toys Live, you ask? I do a live show over on Instagram at Cool Fears every Wednesday with a new guest every week where I talk toys, toy photography, toy collecting, and so much more. And part of that so much more is talking to industry people. And so I am currently trying to get Jada Toys on. Uh, that's in the works. Nothing confirmed yet, but as soon as it is, follow me on Instagram at Cool Figures to stay up to date for all the latest shows. And by the way, guys, those Coffee and Toys Lives, they end up in my weekly Coffee and Toys podcast. What is Coffee and Toys? Well, it is my weekly Toy News Toy Talk podcast where we go over all the latest and great toy news, reveals, pre-orders, and so much more. Enough shameless plugging away, guys, and why don't we go ahead and move this guy. Actually, why don't we go ahead and take a nice closer look at him because he is a die-cast minifigure and uh, he doesn't come with too much detail. But despite that, he actually does come with some pretty decent paint applications and he actually has a complete sculpt, unlike the McFarlane Toys one. What do I mean by that? So if you look right here on his leg, he has some straps and attached to those straps, obviously, he has this nifty little pouch right there as you can see right there well mcfarland toys neglected to put that pouch there so uh he has an incomplete bat suit whereas this little miniature one by jada toys does have a complete bat suit so that's another reason why i am going to be picky and choosy with those mcfarland dc multiverse figures now although there are a few that are coming out that i do want especially in the vehicle arena but in terms of picking up a lot of them and often that yeah no i don't think that's gonna be happening anymore but yeah taking a look at this batmobile i absolutely love it and that's one of the reasons why i had to buy this because ever since they revealed this batmobile i have been in love with it i absolutely love classic muscle cars and this is essentially a classic muscle car turned into a fucking batmobile so yes I absolutely love it and the cool thing about this is the doors open on either side and the wheels do roll so you can roll it around and do some really cool stuff with it whatever you want uh, I don't think the hood pops open no 
Uh, usually on the bigger scale, some cool stuff happens. Usually the door is always open, but on the bigger scale, sometimes they have uh, like other things that will pop up. Like on the 89 Batman, you can pull up the you know the guns that he has on the front on uh, what is it? Ah, I can't remember what the other ones have, but some some of them have different things, but uh, most of them can open their doors. But if you want, you can go ahead and take a nice close look. I'm trying to get a close look to where it'll focus, uh, but. It is pretty decently detailed on the inside in terms of it being a 132 inch scale uh, car, you know. So uh, yeah, all in all, I absolutely love this, and like I said, I cannot wait till they introduce it into their 118th scale line of Batmobiles, and that way I get a bigger version that we can take a look at because the smaller ones don't have too much details, while the 118th scale line does have more details in it because it's a larger product but yeah guys super cool like i said super quick review just wanted to show you guys this it is just essentially a hot wheel you know just made bigger uh it is die cast so you know it has a little bit of weight to it but with it being a small scale it's not too much weight like a 118 scale would be uh but yeah guys i'm not gonna bore you with my spiel about coffee and toys live or my podcast because i already did so why don't we go ahead and just move on into the pictures that i took of this guy and if you did enjoy this video please remember to give it a like share comment and subscribe and as always have a great fucking day Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out. If you like what you see, leave me a follow there as well. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of any figures I do reviews on for this channel, go ahead and check me out over on TikTok at cool figures that's where i post all my unboxings and join me every sunday morning for coffee and toys a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders and so much more if you did enjoy this video please remember to give it a thumbs up it really helps the channel grow if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button but whether or not you're a subscriber thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys i really appreciate it as always i'm your host just the bat Magirol, aka the Buff Collector, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to this channel sponsor, V-Rare Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop, anime, Pokemon card, and toy print needs. And of course, use code COOLFIGURES at checkout for 10% off your order. V-Rare Store, check them out, guys.